Welcome back. For our second math problem, we're going to look at factorial of a number. Here is the problem statement. Given an integer n, find the factorial of that integer. But what is the factorial of an integer? In mathematics, the factorial of a non-negative integer n, denoted n exclamation, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. What you should also know is that the factorial of 0 is 1 and we are not going to get into the math behind that. For example, factorial of 4 is going to be equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is 24. Similarly, factorial of 5 is 5 multiplied by 4, 3, 2 and 1 which is 120. So if you have understood the problem statement, please pause the video and try to solve the problem. Alright, let's now solve the problem together. In Replit, I'm here with a Node.js template and an index.js file. Let's begin by defining the function signature. Function factorial, parentheses, curly braces, and this will have one parameter n which represents the integer for which we need to calculate the factorial. For example, calling the function with n equal to 0, 1 and 5 should return 1, 1 and 120 respectively. Now what do we know about the factorial of a number? We know that the factorial of both 0 and 1 is 1. Let's create a variable called result and initialize it to 1. Next, if n is greater than 1, we need to find the product of all the numbers less than or equal to n. For that, we use a for loop that starts at 2 since multiplying by 1 has no effect. So for let i is equal to 2, i less than or equal to n, i++ plus plus. and in each iteration we multiply the current result with i. Result is equal to result times i. If n is equal to 5, the loop will unfold into 1 into 2 and then 2 into 3 and then 6 into 4 and then 24 into 5. Once the for loop exits, we return the result. So return result. That is pretty much the code needed to calculate the factorial of a number. Let's verify by running the code. We see the three values corresponding to each function call. Our code works as expected. What I would like you to do now is take a pen and paper Trace the function execution for n is equal to 5. Write down what the value of result is in each iteration and that will give you a more clear understanding of the code we have written. Alright, next it's time to determine the big O of our factorial function. Pause for a minute and determine the big O. Here's the cheat sheet which can be used as a guide. Pause now or let's estimate the big O together. Our function contains one for loop. From our cheat sheet, it is pretty evident that big O is linear time complexity. So big O is equal to O of n. As the value of n increases, the number of times line 4 executes also increases. So that is factorial of a number in JavaScript. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.